convolutional neural networks work by progressively combining small portions of the input into features and then combining those features into larger and larger features as the layers progress. Ideally by the last convolutional layer, each part of that last layer is looking at all of the input. How many convolutional layers do you need and how do you tell the portion of the input that the final layer sees? The receptive field is the portion of the input needed to produce the feature at this layer. To find the receptive field of a feature in the second convolutional layer, we can work backwards until we get the input. Here, it's one by one. With three by three filters, one layer back, it's three by three. One more layer back to our input and the receptive field is five by five. If I break it down in colors, we see that the top left corner looks at the top left of the five by five, and the middle right looks at the middle right of the 5x5, five five, and so on, where there's some amount of overlap between what each of these middle features is looking at on the input. Of course, there's this nice formula for calculating the size of the receptive field at any layer, but that formula is different based on other architecture choices in your convolutional neural networks, like pooling, stride, and dilated convolutions. One key place where you need to understand the receptive field is in calculating the number of layers necessary to understand all of your input. For example, with a 1000 by 1000 image and a 3 by 3 filter, how many layers do you need so that the last layer is looking at all of the image? Well, if the first layer looks at 3, and the second layer is 5, and the third 7, then our formula for calculating the receptive field is 2 times the number of layers plus 1. Plugging 1000 into our formula for the receptive field to cover the whole 1000 by 1000 image, we need 500 layers. But wait, there are plenty of convolutional neural networks that work great without using 500 layers. How do they work? They depend on pooling and other architecture changes to increase the size of the receptive field, but more on that in future videos. An interesting thing about the receptive field is that you can shape it. That is, if you zero out some parts of your convolutional filter, then your filter will effectively not look in those areas. So if you take a 3x3 filter and zero out the corners, at every layer, this filter can only effectively look at this middle cross of values. So at the first layer, you get a cross, the second layer adds these values, and the third layer adds these values, and so on, and you get this really pretty pattern. To review, the receptive field is the portion of the input needed to create the current feature we are looking at in any convolutional layer. Like how cells in your eyes only see parts of your vision, the receptive field starts with small portions of the input and later grows as the convolutions combine them together in order to make sense of what is seen. How would you reduce the number of necessary layers?